secretive and potentially manipulative. That's how Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings is describing part of Universal's plan to pay for SunRail's expansion to I Drive. He's calling out the idea of creating a special taxing district to finance it. Fox 35's Connor Hansen is live in Orlando with the details. Connor. Ray, that SunRail line would start at the airport and drop people off right here at the Orange County Convention Center and I Drive. And while Orange County Mayor Jerry Deming says he's excited about some parts of the plan, he has some major concerns about a lack of transparency around the project. Now, Universal Orlando Resort and other businesses in the area recently announced the plan creating a special taxing district to get it done. They say Universal would be the only property owner getting taxed to finance the project. Mayor Deming said today that he feels like the idea of the private sector investing in a project. He likes the idea of the private sector investing in a project like this, but he says it wasn't until about 10 minutes before the big announcement last week that the county received the application for the project. The mayor wasn't included in that announcement, and he says it should have been discussed by the board in a public meeting. Today, he questioned the timeline and the agenda of those behind it. I know when I think that there's been some, um, I won't say, I won't use a, the legal term or criminal term of collusion, but uh, some behind the scenes uh, 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 dealings that, that went on that was not transparent, okay, because of the timeliness and the timing of certain things that happen. I know what. And Mayor Demings went on to say there have already been discussions within the county about Brightline connecting Orlando to Tampa. Now, if that SunRail project moves forward, there won't be any trains running, dropping people off here until around 2028. Reporting live on iDrive, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News.